kids. We're almost done. Just gotta fuel the truck, get this thing parked, and we can go home. It has been a long, frustrating, anger-filled day. I don't like being an angry guy, but we got fuel in the truck. The truck currently has 527,000 miles on it, and uh, it's running all right. I got 45 minutes left on my 11 hour clock, so we gotta get this done. It's currently 11.34 at night. It's been a long day. All right. It's gonna be fun ride home with a tinted advisor. I'm gonna have to uh, fix the windshield here so I can ride with my visor open. So I can just lift that up like that and that'll help direct the wind over me and uh, yeah let's get packed up and ready to go home all right kids we <clears throat> the fuel lights not on yet but it's pretty damn close let's see how dark the night rider a little too dark for that visor. Actually, it's that's you're not supposed to wear the visor at all at night. But we are going to head on towards home here in a little bit. Let the bike warm up for a second. <clears throat> yeah, fuel light's not on, so it's a little after midnight, and uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get gas along the way home. I can't make it all the way home on uh, two bars of fuel. It is 64 degrees outside. Got my, my leather jacket. And uh, we're gonna be ghost riding with Sterling. What do you think of that? Today was a long, horrible day. I'm gonna ventilate a little bit. Long, horrible day. So let's uh, commence to talking about it. So, I slept pretty good. I actually slept in today. I just, uh, you know, every once in a while, I'll just, I need nine hours of sleep. Doesn't happen a whole lot, but. Yesterday was one of those days. <clears throat> and uh, I woke up. I, I thought I was going to wake up and friggin', you know, get an early start and maybe get out on the road early and, you know, get home on time, you know, see Red Lady and all that but it didn't happen at all oh, it was that was no go potato today was absolute potato I got about 30 miles into my trip back <clears throat> the boss calls me and he's like uh, so you know that lady you paid way too much money for a uh, friggin DOT medical I think, yeah pretty fond pretty fond of her and uh, he goes well the uh, background check company that FedEx uses uh, don't like her medical certificates because she scribbled all over it and um, she hadn't done too many uh, medicals you know for CDL drivers before and I was like I knew what the issue was. The DMV saw it and actually signed off on all of her little scribbles and you know, she, she put the wrong date and a whole bunch of other stuff. It was it was an absolute mess. Uh, 
but the DMV signed off on it. They're just like, okay, you know, here we go. We called her and everything's fine. And there you go. We got your, uh, your, 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 uh, DOT certified freaking driver over here. And, um, so I was happy about that, but yeah, boss called me today and said that the, uh, the company that does all of FedEx is, uh, I mean, Ride Arrow Trucking, does all of their uh, background checks and stuff. Uh, says no go, no bueno, no, no, no bueno, no go, no bueno. Anytime I roll into an empty gas station, I always like ride around it a little bit, just to make sure there's, you know. Not roving bands of warriors looking for a lonely, overweight motorcycle rider. I don't know. I just I just feel weird sometimes going to an empty gas station. There's nobody on staff. I'll be the only one putting, you know, petrol in the motorcycle. It's just a I don't know. I'm just a scared little boy. But. We're going to get us some fuel. Uh, regular here is quite expensive at $4.99 a friggin' gallon. And uh, this bike takes 91 so I'm not too happy about that either. Hello, fuel pump. Prepare, pre prepare to make me bankrupt. But yeah, I'll, I'll tell you the kids the rest of the story there. So a boss called me up and was like, hey, uh, they won't accept your uh, your medical. So you need to call the doctor and see if they can rewrite the, uh, you know, the, the medical certificate without all the scribbles and scratches and all that crap. So... I had to stop early, take a 30 minute, almost an hour break to take care of that. And uh, I think it was handled today. <laughs> but as the boss was telling me this, I'm pulling into a truck stop there in Oregon. And the stupid, there was a lot of traffic, so it was taking a while to turn into the truck stop. And then the stupid idiot passes me on the right and cuts me off and almost rips the hood right off my truck while my boss is talking to me. I'll see if he can send me the video. If he can, I'll, I'll add it to this. <laughs> but yeah, he almost ripped the hood clean off the truck. And I was just like, you fucking idiot. And then it took forever to get into the truck stop to get a parking spot and just, you know, just... I couldn't make good progress today in addition to all the traffic and just stupid people everywhere. And I just... It was a shit show of a day, and now it's already tomorrow. Gotta get some gas in this thing and wander on home. I really don't want to take I-80. At night, there's oil and grease and two by fours on the road and dead bodies and mountain lions and and tigers and bears. And I, don't, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I'm supposed to ride a motorcycle for fun, not for fucking dangerous antics but let's get some fuel on this thing and I'll catch you kids in a little bit Recording. all right lift handle start fueling five dollars <laughs> forty cents a gallon don't mind if I do uh, the highest octane we can get in Nevada is 91. I wish I could get more. The bike's got a good computer on it, and it'll actually adjust the timing for for uh, better fuel, higher octane fuel. Poor thing's a mess, though. <laughs> I've just been riding and riding and riding. But maybe this weekend I will get a chance to clean it up and stuff, but it's not down pumping. i got to pull the nozzle out a little bit. I, I hear a scooter, buddy. Man. Some Harley riders, it's like, it's like they ride with a six-volt battery. Like he had one little tiny little headlight. And here I am, scared to death at riding at midnight with 
You know, this bike's got friggin' two gigantic headlights on it and, and friggin' driving lights on the forks. I can do a little bit more on the fuel. There we go. I don't like to go higher than that. How many gallons do we get? We got four. 4.19 gallons for a total price of $22.68. And I think currently we might be getting, what are we getting for mileage? 73 degrees, average miles per gallon is 40.9. I'm going to keep it on temperature. <sighs> but yeah, we are fueled. And uh, like I said, had a had a pretty awful day. <laughs> it's freaking awful. Uh, I stopped at uh, I stopped at the Love's truck stop there in, in Klamath Falls, and uh, I haven't had a hot dog. I had one of those cheddar hot dogs uh, from a truck stop in many years, many years. And I'm sitting there, you know, preparing myself a hot dog, and all these dirty friggin' Oregon hippies were crowding me so I couldn't get my chili cheese. So, couldn't get my condiments on my friggin' oh, my friggin' hot dogs. So, I don't have, I currently don't have rooster tail diarrhea, so I guess the hot dogs are fine. And, uh, but yeah, like I said, it, it's, it's just been a crazy, crazy friggin' day. And now I've got to ride home about 55 miles in the dark. I haven't decided if I'm just going to stay on I-80 or cut across USA Parkway, take the back way home. It's kind of dark with no traffic uh, other than wild horses that can dart out at any time. So I haven't decided yet. I'll make my decision on the road. But on the road is where I will go. Uh, hope your kids are doing okay. Don't bother clicking the thumbs up button. Don't bother subscribing. Never hit the notification bell. And uh, you can ride with me anytime I feel like making a video. That's kind of my, my MO. And uh, as the sign says, on the Mustang Market, just outside of Reno, Nevada, in the quaint community of Mustang, Nevada, uh, it's a desert thing. It's... It's, it's due out here. Out here, it's due. I guess. That's a desert thing. Whatever.